sports section of Portland, Maine. From the street, it doesn't look like much, it but it's yeah. so okay. <laughs> walk through the doors, you get this waft of smoke. What's she doing? There's a yeah. big open kitchen with the open flame, and you go, wow, this is really cool. The Woodbury Grill. So Here you are! Yay! Yay! <laughs> you just sort of want to cozy down in front of it on a bearskin rug or something. <laughs> Naked. Sick. The inspiration for the food that we serve at Forest Street really has to do with where it comes from. We were trying to do something that Which felt like that Maine. The food at Forest Street and the menu is based on what Sam can get locally. It means that what you find on the menu in June is going to be very different than the food you find on the menu in August. The menu changes every day. And the thing about Four Street is that some of my favorite dishes you may or may not be able to get ever again. But they're delicious. If you're lucky enough that this happens to be on the menu, get the tomato tart. They only make this tart when the Jet Star tomatoes are in season because it's the only type of tomato that is just perfect for this dish. It has a pulpy, slippery, meaty interior, and it's very sweet and very tart at the same time. So the overall impression is a rich tomato flavor. The chef starts by cooking sherry vinegar olive oil and an herb called summer savory, sort of like sage, in a blini pan. <laughs> He slices the tomatoes in half, squeezes out the excess juice, and then places them skin side down. Over the tomatoes, he drapes a round of puff pastry. And then that whole thing goes into a burger. Oh, that's oven. interesting. And the puff pastry puffs up, and the tomatoes sort of wilt down. And to serve it, he takes the pan out of the oven, turns it right side up onto a plate mm. so that the tomatoes are on top. The chef then finishes it with a dollop of goat cheese mousse, which then starts to melt Ooh. all over the tomatoes. <laughs> and you get this beautiful golden brown crust, bright red tomatoes. It is absolute perfection. Well, you're going to come visit and <laughs> 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 so you take your first fork full and you go, damn, that's insane. One of the dishes that doesn't change very often on the menu at 4th Street are the wood roasted mussels. I think if they ever took it off the menu, good. there would be a riot in downtown Portland. These are wild mussels. They are thicker shells than cultivated mussels, and they can withstand the high heat of the oven. They do have a little bit of chew to them. You could say they're more muscular than other mussels, but then you'd be making a really bad pun. Yeah. The mussels go into a paella pan with salt, pepper, and vermouth instead of white wine, and it adds a whole different level of flavor. But really, what takes it over the top? It's not just the pan and the mussels, it's the almond butter. Oh, yeah. He makes a compound butter with almonds, and it's just one of those things where you go, shouldn't all mussels come with almond butter? And then that pan goes into the wood-burning oven. And what happens with that intense heat is those, those mussels crack themselves open, and all their juices get combined with that butter and the vermouth. It's the red nails again. And it comes with a serving of delicious bread, and dunk it into that butter and soak up all the garlic, the almonds, and the mussel juices. So you're going to put another like 20,000 calories into you just know. by like taking a bite of it and just might as well drink all the butter. Well. <laughs> One of the things that makes Four Street so unique is the fact that they're spit roasting whole animals. We love to do rabbits on the turnspit. There's just something wonderful about the magic that the wood fire works on the meat of the rabbit. You get this really earthy dish. I mean, you have the very woodsy sort of flavored mushrooms. And the liver itself, Beedle. which is a little fire. <laughs> 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 he's like, 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 he's like,
what's unique about the foods that are produced here in Maine. I can't imagine going to Maine and not stopping at 4th Street. Is Only the lack of reservation is stopping. Yay, Will! Yay, Will!